The following demonstration will review issues with touch functionality on the AquasBoard interactive display system and simple things you can do to correct the issue. As you see here, I try writing on the board and nothing is happening. Let's take a look at the connections in the back to see if my cables are in the correct spot. So as you see, we have the shuttle PC mounted on the back of the display and the only three cables connected currently are the AC adapter, the USB to touch panel, and our HDMI cable. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, we recommend that these two are the only two leaving the shuttle PC and going to the display. Now the HDMI cable could be a different video cable such as a display port, but today we're using an HDMI cable. So at this point, the USB cable should go into the touch panel input right here, and our HDMI cable should go into HDMI 1. Now the problem most people have is uh, they sometimes put one of these cables into a different terminal. So this is the bottom terminal and the side terminal, and they may have, for instance, the HDMI cable hooked up here and the touch panel down here. And in this particular case, touch functionality with this PC would not work. So make sure that the two cables are in the same terminal. Now, another thing we'd like to mention is when you're troubleshooting this problem, make sure that you have no extenders connecting from the PC to the display and that the display is the only display that you're using, that it's not an extended desktop or that you're mirroring from another screen. So uh, please try this first and see if this corrects your problem. Now we're going to go back to the front screen and see what other steps you can take to troubleshoot this issue. So the next thing you can do is touch the touch menu button, which is right next to the power button, and see if you can switch inputs. Now I know I can switch inputs, that's a good sign. That means that touch functionality is working on the display. So one more thing to take a look at is in the touch menu, you have the touch icon right here. Here you see that it's functioning. If you tap on it, you'll see an X button in the top. That indicates that it has been disabled. Let's go ahead and enable it. If you see that this button is grayed out, that means that there is a problem either with the connection in the back of the board, or there is a hardware malfunction within the display or within the PC. The next thing you can do is to take the remote control that came with your product and press the display button. Make sure that you point the remote at the lower left corner of the screen. You'll see the following page. Here under status, you want to make sure that all of these numbers here are zeros. That's a good indication that the display hasn't had any hardware malfunctions that can affect touch functionality. Now let's press display again. And here under touch panel, you'll see the word OK. That means that the board is working. If you see something else, you may see something like not connected or some other indication that might indicate that there is something wrong. So the next thing we can do is we can perform a full factory reset on the display itself. So to begin, take your remote control and press the size button. You want to go ahead and press it down and hold it down while pointing to the bottom left corner of the screen until an F appears in the top left of the screen. From there, you want to quickly go ahead and press the arrows, the top, right, bottom, and left arrow, one by one. Now you'll see the following page. The first option here is where we want to be, all reset. Go ahead and press enter. Now select the top option right here using your arrow keys. So all reset one and press enter. Here, I'm resetting the display back to its default factory settings. From here, the display will ask you to set the date and time, and we'll just hit OK, but I do recommend setting this. Now that the display has been reset, let's take a look if I can write something on the screen. Yes, I can. 
and that means that touch functionality is working again. If you're still having issues, please visit sharpusa.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.